Where, you know? We're gonna take this box off and then we're gonna go get one mounted. bottom of a trailer. So now let's go over and get one mounted. We're gonna go get one mounted now. That's the horn, man. It blows when it's, uh, the horn to blow. Hold on. Okay, we finna get ready and get the box mounted on. That one, and then he's gonna grab. That's my box 316002. Yep, there it is, sitting right there 316002. That's the box I'm getting. Make sure your pins are in. My locks is unlocked. You come back down and grab that box and put it on the truck. So you'll get this is how they mount them. Thumbs up, let him know he got the right box. Yep, that's it. That's how the bottom of them look. The bottom of the container. Bills in there. Wait till he get the crane out of it and get away from it. Then you go and latch the trail. And that's all to it. Make sure all your pins are in. Check for your bills. What? The bills are here. Lord, have mercy. Praise Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what? 
That's what Brown said. Thank you. So we kept the same chassis. All we did was unload it, come down here, twist the lock, lock it in place, come around, check everything, make sure the seal, match the seal on the paperwork. Always check your seal, there's a trailer number. There's your seal. The seal match, good go on that. Do again, check your lights. Whatever you do, make sure you lock these pins in. Now I didn't know I didn't grease this, this, this time, but hey, normally I grease it. Walk around, check your tires. These are the tires with the air vice on it. When you see those, they air they they they, they equal out the air to 100 psi. And all you do, you got that? Send a message to dispatch. Say hey, load it at the rail. Send the container number. Send the chassis number, and you're done. You're done. There you go. He's going on down the road. So hey, we're ready to go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And that's all to it. That is all to it. We done done it. We got everything in here in the computer. Go back, check. We got this trail in there. Check. All right. Go here. Now all we got to do now is make ourselves an out gate. So let me enter this and then I'll text dispatch and let them know that I got everything. And we'll go from there. How much weight we got? 15,000 pounds. Now you can go with that or you can say, nah, I'm a skeleton. Well, I can tell when I start pulling it. Once you do this for a while, you can drive and tell if it's over, if it's heavy here. So we're going to Walmart and Club in Alabama, 2200 7th Avenue, Southwest, Walmart, DC number 6006. Okay, and this came from Juba Valley, California. Okay. Let's see. So, let me do this. I gotta use my phone to send them a message. But that's how we pop a. They call it pop a pop a container for drop to us. Mountain dismount is what they call it. Mountain dismount. This is the railroad side. Then you got the side over to my left, which you will just mount it and go straight out the gate. When they unmount on this R side, they put me straight on the train. Okay. So let me send a message to dispatch and I'll be right back. What's going on YouTube is uh, Wednesday morning. I'm here in, uh, in Muscle Shows. I got to go back to Florence, man. Got there last night, done a drop and hook. Got over here to the Loves on uh, 72 here. And doing trailer, 35,000 pounds on the drive. Ain't nothing you can do. Ain't nothing you can do. On these containers, the uh, the weight on the axles back here, each one of these holes on the container, each one of these holes here is 100 pounds. 100 pounds is what it is. It's like 120 pounds per hole. So on these containers, it's 120 pounds. But then I think it depends really on the chassis. But right now, it's only 120 pounds that you move. And I didn't move nothing last night, so messed around and I could have made it over to current Mississippi, but end up having to shut down here uh, 12 miles from the customer because going back to the customer because the lady said that they couldn't get it to in the morning. And uh, this, this is just something you're going to go through. This is something you're going to have to deal with, man, in these container divisions. Uh, they, they overload them, but all it is, my paperwork said 39,000 is what they're supposed to have in the box. Well, look like to me they put too many of the big pieces in the front, heavy pieces in the front. So let's get ready to go in there and get us some coffee and uh, head back down the road here and get it reworked. So I'll be right back once I get down to the customer. What's going on, YouTube? Well, we made it back here. Got us some coffee and a breakfast sandwich. Made it back. And uh, here to the customer. Got here at 9:15. It's 
2023 now. We still, they still working on it. Uh, big old spools of wire is what it is. Um, they put the heavy ones in the nose and then put enough on the back of it to counteract the weight from what's in the nose. So uh, they reworking the load. Thing about it is, I was take, like I was just telling them, if you're gonna do it, go light, heavy, and then light. That way, the heavy is in the middle, and it'll distribute the weight out over the axles. Uh, this one is going to uh, PA, so you can pretty much slide it back to the 48 foot mark, about four, or five holes. But with the axles all the way up under there, it wasn't budging, man. It didn't change nothing uh, and everything, but. Like I said, other than that, we're here, we're still here. We got about a hundred and, I think it's about a hundred and, what is it now? I how many miles it is, it ain't that full. It's, uh, tick tock, tick tock, uh, 135 miles from here to uh, Memphis. So, well, as soon as they get this loaded, we'll drop this at the, uh, North Fork Southern Rail because it's going to PA and then we'll pick up uh, we'll bobtail from there over to BNSF and we'll pick up a trail out of there and we'll head to, up to uh, Nashville uh, to deliver it for tomorrow but it don't deliver till tomorrow at 7 a.m. so that's pretty good we can uh, we can get up there and do that and uh, come out on top and everything but like I said other than that it's trucking, baby. It's trucking. So we just sitting back waiting on them to get it reworked, get it reloaded, new seal. Uh, they'll change the scratch out the seal number on the bill and everything, just update the seal and stuff. And that's all we got to do. But hey, it's trucking. It's trucking. But uh, uh, subscriber asked me about the procedure at JB Hunt. Uh, I was all gone. The, um, the thing about it is when you apply, you go online, you apply online, um, most of it you're going to do online uh, once they get your, get your application in, get you approved. They'll schedule your orientation. You'll do the, most of your orientation paperwork will be done online. You do everything online. Uh, then when you, you go take your drug tests and hair follicle. Uh, what else? Uh, if you need a physical, you'll do your physical uh, before you even get the orientation. But you'll do the uh, what they call them uh, computer-based training. You'll do all that, all your paperwork on the computer. So when you do come in orientation, it's only for like two days, two to three days. I think it's like three days. Uh, three days in orientation, you'll do that, and then you'll go out with a trainer that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you'll go out with a trainer. Uh, depends on when, uh, what days you pick to work. If you off Monday, Tuesday, you'll go out with a trainer Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, if you're off Friday, Saturday, you'll go out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you can get Saturday in if you want to and stuff, but that, that'll be up to you. But um, everything's done in orientation. Um, they take you to lunch. Uh, once you finish orientation, you then, like I said, you go out with a trainer. Uh, the trainer is, uh, you arrive with him the first day. And then after that, once they assign you a truck, then you're, you might use his truck or her truck then once they assign you your truck, you'll finish the rest of your training driving your truck. So it'll all vary <clears throat> and stuff. But uh, other than that, that's it. If you feel you want to, you need a little bit more extra time, like I said before, they will uh, they'll let you ride with the trainer a little bit more because he's getting paid every day anyway. So it don't make him or him or her no difference. Uh, so if you feel you want to go out with them and get you a little bit more training, all you got to do is say, and they'll schedule you for another week. It's up to you. Uh, like I said, the intermodal division, you're out 
the regional side, you're out and you might make it back depending upon like stuff like now. If you run out of hours, that's what the sleeper for. Uh, they do have day cabs that's running the same thing you're running, but they'll tell that day cab, day cab driver, hey, bring it back in, get it back in. That's what they'll tell him or her. But uh, somebody asked me about the pay. Let me uh, get this sheet. I don't want it to be misunderstood, which is this sheet here. Um, the pay over here, if uh, from zero prior experience for new drivers or rehire, zero to two years, 60 cent. Uh, uh, two to three years, 61 cent. Three year max for new hires is 62 cent. And then after that, uh, you get a penny every year on the anniversary. The top out over here is 66 cent a mile. Uh, stop pay is 36, $36 flat rate for live load, live unloads, and 2250 for dropping hooks plus your miles that you get to get to the customer. Uh, detention pay is at a rate of $20 an hour. Paid detention begins one and a half hours after arrival call and is paid hourly in 15 minute increments. The driver becomes ineligible for if JB Hunt is unable to charge the customer. The tension requires requirement requires are automatically submitted when a completion empty and loaded is submitted. One and a half hours or greater following the arrival call. Extended detention is paid $25 an hour. It's paid at a rate of $25 an hour. After one hour uh, of paid detention, the rate changes from detention to $20 an hour to extension to extended detention. $25 an hour is paid in 15 minute increments. For example, here's an example. Uh, if arrived at 8 a.m. and loaded call is at 12 p.m. From 9.30 to 10.30, normal detention applies at $20 an hour. From 10.30 to 12 detention, 12 p.m., detention to $25 an hour applies for a total of $45. Do not need to submit these items separately in the drive apps. Only one exception, paid entry is needed. Rail delay, $20 an hour. Local pay is for any load less than 75 miles of the rail that is picked up and delivered. Short haul pay for dropping hook is $26.50. Live load and unload is $37. Also applies to point-to-point -point dispatch with no real stop. This item requires submission. Okay, rework. Okay, that's what I'm on. They got to rework this load. Rework is paid at a rate of $20 an hour. From the time you scale the load, for the first time and contact claims. Let me repeat that now. Um, this load is overweight, so they gotta rework it. Rework is paid at a rate of $20 an hour per hour from the time you scale the load for the first time and contact claims to the time the load is reworked and scaled legally. Example, here's an example of what they're saying. Arrive at the customer at 9 a.m. Loaded at the customer at 10 a.m. Scale and call claim at 10.30. Return to the customer for reload, rework with a new load time of 12 p.m. Rework would pay from 10.30 to which the time you call claims, you scale the load and call claim 
from 10.30 to noon, which is an hour and a half, for a total of $30. Um, this item requires submission through the uh, drive out. You got to do it. So that's everything on this sheet I just read you right here. Everything on this sheet. So that's how they do it. And stuff. So, hey, it is what it is. Let me see what she's going to get. Is she coming to me? No, she ain't coming to me. I thought she was coming to me. I'm going to say, uh uh. She's going somewhere else. She, she wants well, but anyway, that's the uh, the payoff, and that's everything on the sheet that they give you. So you make money for having to sit somewhere. You make money if the load got to be reworked. Like now, you make money uh, for your miles that you're driven. So JB Hunt pays you pretty much for everything you do. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Can pay for everything you do, but uh, 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 got a green light. Let me go in here, I'll be right back. Hold on, all right. They reloaded us. Let's go to the scale and see if they've done a good job, <laughs> or do we have to come back? We're gonna go find out. So, stay tuned. We're gonna go right back down there to 172 to the Luz, about 10 miles, 12 miles back to the Luz. So, we're gonna go 12 miles back down the road and see if we gotta come back. Let's see. It was 35,000, 35, 240 on our drives and everything. So let's see where we are now. We'll be right back with the scale ticket. We're going to head down to the 